So I let Automaker run for a couple of hours last night. I was trying to have it build out like a video editor tool. And this is basically what I'm going to demo for you and what Automaker is capable of building out. Now, when I say Automaker, this is a tool that me and my Discord are kind of working on. Uh, basically, it's a way to enter in a description of your project. It generates all these features. The order of which those should be implemented gets already figured out. And then you kick it off in auto mode and it just runs through using Claude code to just build out these features. So as you can see here, we have like a decent amount of features built out already. And I wanted to demo out what this kind of looks like when Automaker is done running. So let me go ahead and demo it with the app. So the purpose of this app is often when I'm recording a lot of YouTube videos, I have to go through and like edit them all and then find areas where I do retakes or find areas where I mess up or maybe I clear my throat. And it kind of eats up a lot of my time and it like deters me from like making as many YouTube videos or YouTube shorts as I want to because I spend a bunch of time editing and making it look polished. So let's go over here. I'm going to grab a video where I have a couple of mess ups and retakes. And what this app does is it first sends it to OpenAI Whisper to analyze the audio and get the timestamps, and then it tries to figure out where in the video I have mess ups. Okay, so let's look over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just hide my head for the rest of this uh, video. But this is the automaker's output, right? This created the rapid cut application. And I basically described all that through these features. Okay, you can also view this on Kanban board if you want to, but I do like the graph view. It just helps it uh, be a little bit more easy to visualize. Okay, so you can see here, it's like create file import UI component, build export progress modal, create export settings UI, add export button to editor. All these features you'll actually see in the application. We have an export button over here. It has the export settings. I click it, it runs FFmpeg under the hood for all the things that I can potentially cut out. Okay, so a quick little demo of this. You can play the video. And so as you can see in this graph, we start off on the left side, which has all... And I can actually go here and I can cut stuff out so I can cut these out, delete it, um, and I can play it. As you can see in this graph, we start base dependencies. Okay, so we have video editing literally built into this application. But the important thing that I'm trying to get done with this application is over here, you'll see that it says retake of the sentence from timestamp four to seven. So let's play this area real quick. Okay, and so it kind of helps me figure out real quick, like where do I need to go edit? So I can just literally edit all these things. Delete it. One of the awesome features that we added to Automaker last night was this feature to allow. Now, I will say when I edited the video, there's little bugs. And then over here it says an extended pause so I can quickly jump to the end, which I believe that's where it's happening. And then I could potentially just edit that out. So I'm building this specifically for me, but I think other YouTubers might find this useful for people who just want to do like one shot video recordings and then come through and like remove the stuff they messed up on. Now we can actually export this. Let's go to export. You can choose different formats. You can choose resolutions. I'm gonna go ahead and just include the audio and click export here. And that's gonna use FFmpeg under the hood. It's gonna to stitch together all these different segments into a video that we can now, I think download might be, is it working? Let's see. One of the awesome features that we added to Automaker last night was this feature to allow us to basically generate a giant dependency graph so that we can see what features need to be built in in what order. The Let me show my face. So this thing does have bugs, right? I'm not saying that Automaker perfectly created this application. And but the cool thing about what's happening in AI right now is that we're starting to have autonomous agents that can literally just build stuff without you even having to sit there and babysit it. Like this whole thing, it went through and it worked on the most important features, the ones that all the things depend on, like the database schema or the Tanstack start application. And then it moves on to the other ones that it can grab. And it slowly just traverses this graph and works on whatever feature it thinks it needs to work on next. Now, what I've been doing is there's a plan mode in Automaker that we added. It's kind of hidden behind my head. There's a plan button. If you click it, what you can do is you can actually add in new features on top of this. So if I've added all these features and I go back to Automaker and test it out, I can then start planning more things. Uh, which is a really nice feature because it keeps the dependency graph stuff all hooked in. You don't have to worry about this breaking your dependency graph. It'll figure out what card it should attach the dependency onto so that later on you can like look through and find the ones like related to, I don't know, let's find a cut preview. Go here. Okay, we have a cut preview one right there. Maybe there's something about the export. Where did export get added? Okay, so here's the export flow. So if I were to add another feature that's related to export, I bet you would be tacked on right here automatically. And we can kind of visualize how this project was built out from nothing to what we have now. Anyway, that's all I want to demo. I think Automaker is something really cool that me and my Discord community are working on. So go check it out. Go to automaker.app right here, your autonomous AI software engineer. It's free. It's free to use. You guys can go check it out and play around with it. Now I will say this is still kind of like beta, right? We're still trying to work through bugs. We're still trying to polish it up. So if you find something that doesn't really work, like I know we've gotten some feedback on work trees that we're trying to polish out. Let us know. I think this has been like two weeks of work now. We have over a thousand commits. And I think the last time I checked, there was like 80 or 90,000 lines of code or more. 
So the project is growing really large, really fast, and it's crazy. This is not possible unless you're using Agenta Coding and Claude Code and all these other tools. Like this would just not be possible without these AI tools to help you out along the way. And Agenta Coding is what we've been doing this entire time to build out Automaker, right? To build out all these features. It's very, very complex. We have a lot of features added in and we have different models. We have terminals. We have the ability to spin up a terminal. You can just run Claude Code inside of a terminal. Okay, go ahead and split this left, split it down, split it down. And now I can have Claude Code in four different terminals if I want to. Now all this was built out using Agenta Coding. And so what I mean by Agenta Coding is we use Claude Code to implement our ideas and software. And then we come back and we review the code and make sure we understand it. And then we reprompt these LLMs to improve the code, refactor the code and make it well polished. And so if you want to learn my workflows for Agenta Coding, go check out agenticjumpstart.com. This is a course I've been working on. We have over 74 videos, 11 and a half hours of content. I talk about Claude Code and my cursor setup and my, my tips and tricks of how to do Agenta Coding efficiently. And then finally, we build out a full stack web application using Tanstack Start Drizzle. We get it deployed out to Railway as well. And so I think this is a really great value. And I do have another section I'm starting with autonomous coding. I'm going to talk more about Automaker in this one. Maybe we can add some features together live here. But the idea is I do think autonomous coding is becoming much more viable now as these, as these models are getting better. And you can literally just plan out a whole project from the get-go and just let it cook all night. Come back and you have like a decently sized project already built out, as you can tell with rapid cut. Like this is amazing. This is stuff that I could never even imagine before, but now it's like we can build out whatever we want just by prompting it and letting Claude code iterate on itself. I'm sure there's a lot of features I didn't talk about in Automaker, so definitely go join the Discord. By the way, there is a Discord. If you go to agenticjumpstart.com, a free Discord, which is where all these AI enthusiasts are going to hang out uh, talking about Automaker, talking about AI coding. So go check out the free Discord. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.